since you're the, a business background guy, let's talk about the the finances of the projects with the printer. So how does the cost comparison line up to regular construction in the town you're in now, let's say? That's fine. Now you have a, a, a couple of difficulties here. Uh, and now becomes a little bit economical, technical, uh, but I hope you can follow. If you look at the relationship between the labor cost and the material cost of construction around the world, you will see that this ratio between, you know, you have these two costs. You have the labor cost of building, and then you have the material involved, what mm -hmm. the cost of, and then added together, they make 100, 100%. That split between how much is labor cost, how much is material cost, varies. So if you look at my country, it's almost 50-50. If you go to um, India, it's like 20 for the labor, 80 for the material. And if you go to very uh, high price markets uh, and not so efficient markets, maybe uh, US and Japan, you'll see that the 50 maybe is 60 and so on, right? So when you have a saving on one of them, but not on the other, you can imagine yourself that that significance of that saving will vary between the different markets. Mm -hmm. So that's one complexity in, in let's say, pinpointing one uh, answer to, to, to your question. That is, it all depends on where you are in the world and yeah. what your relative costs are between labor and material. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, quite easy. There is not enough accumulated experience to make a uh, what I would consider to be a credible economic prediction of the precise saving. Let me make an analogy. This is similar to when you uh, learn to how to ride a bike. The first time you rode a bike, you fell down a lot. Uh, you were actually more sitting, hurting your knee than you were riding the bike. If we take this analogy over to our printing of the first building, that's exactly what happened. You know, we were maybe printing 10% of the time, 90% of the time we was we were standing still hurting, right? Um, the second time you were you were buying, you did it much better. You might not have fallen maybe 10% of the times that you fell the first time. Hence, your productivity, your speed increased. Same thing when we did the bot building again, just two years after, we improved 20 times as you heard. We came to 28 hours. Now. You really can come with these numbers when you've done something for the 10th time or maybe the 15th time, mm -hmm. right? And nobody has done that. Nobody has done a similar thing. It doesn't help us that we do, or our customers does, one-off projects with, let's say, special solution in different countries. You can't use that accumulation for anything. Mm -hmm. because they, are, they have applied special solutions living up to the building code in that country that they are not applying in this other project, so you can't really compare the two. And this company over here is not gaining the experience, you know, really operational experience from this company. So we, in essence, that's why we are, are waiting for and promoting these 30, 40, 50 buildings projects, because I think that is the first time when, let's say, you've done the first five houses, and now you have to do the next 10. Those 10 houses, you can get reliable data from. You cannot get reliable data for one-off projects done for the first time. It's, it's, it's meaningless because it will be worse than the conventional. And this is also what we tell all our customers, really honestly say, if you think you're going to make money on the first project or, or during the first year and you can recoup your investment in the printer, you can forget it. You've come to the wrong guys. We will never promise you that. You, you have to think about this is the future and I need to get my feet wet with the future. I need to master the future because thereby I'm gaining competitive advantage for the future. So it will take you some years to, to regain your, your, your investment in the printer, for sure. You can't do it with just within one year. And you will for sure see that first time you apply it, it will probably be more expensive. Second time, maybe also. Third time, you might break even. Fifth time, you might find 10% saving. Tenth time, you might find 25% saving. That's, that's how it is. Yeah, some of my engineering classes are making me think that uh, even 10 isn't really enough to really get, like, to have a scientific quorum no. and a science, you have to have 100, N equals 100. If you want to go with the 95 significance uh, level uh, credibility, 
concert. Uh, that, so. that is at the ninety-five percent significant level. Now, then, then you're right. Then, then even ten is not enough. Uh, you, you need to go into the hundreds. Uh, before but we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. And also, as as I 